hi everyone thank you so much for joining this uh, lightning talk uh, we'll just get started in a, probably about 30 seconds i know we just have 10 minutes so we'll start right on uh, the clock so thank you for joining the session so i'll be giving a quick lightning talk on uh, drupal plus gatsby right and uh, i'll focus on a particular aspect uh, of using drupal's layout builder so layout builder is a very powerful tool that was introduced in uh, Drupal 8 core, right? And uh, it's a very handy tool for uh, site builders as well as content creators to be able to create new landing pages uh, dynamically. It allows you to create uh, different section of the page. You can create different regions dynamically and configure components. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a very commonly used tool when you're using a traditional Drupal site. Uh, but I don't think a lot of people have tried uh, using the layout builder with uh, decouple implementation and especially with uh, something like Gatsby on the front end which is a static site generator uh, right so I'll give you a quick demo of how we've done that I have posted a few links here in the chat as well since we just have 10 minutes I've posted a few uh, links in the chat which you can check out later on uh, they there are some more demos in there uh, which you can watch on YouTube as well as uh, some more information about the easy content uh, Drupal distribution, right? Uh, it's an open source distribution that uh, Srijan is maintaining uh, with a focus on uh, providing integration such as uh, the layout builder with decoupled projects. And uh, that is what I will use for today's demo. So I have a Drupal 8 website here set up using the easy content distribution. This is the backend. And what I also have here is uh, we have a front-end application hosted on Gatsby Cloud. Uh, so I will show you how I can create a new uh, page on the uh, Drupal backend. And uh, let me get into that right now. So I'm going to go to add content. Uh, we have a content type here in the sandbox site called landing page. So this is a very basic uh, content type. You can see it has just a couple of fields uh, in the backend. And let's create a page for the demo today. And uh, the integration is not just for the layout builder. So you know you can also uh, pub. You can you know preview unpublished content that works here as well. But I'm just going to publish it directly since we have limited time. Uh, so it follows your uh, workflow. If you have a scheduler enabled, it works with scheduling as well. So you can schedule this content to be published later on. You can even control the URL on your Gatsby site from here. So let's just say Gatsby landing page demo. So I'm giving a custom uh, URL alias here as well. And I'm going to hit save. And this will bring up the uh, layout builder interface that Drupal provides. Right? So you can see it's completely empty right now. And uh, I click on layout. It shows me the interface. So uh, I'll take a pause here because I've just created this page and I'm going to show you how the integration with Gatsby Cloud works. So if I go to my Gatsby Cloud uh, application here, you can see that uh, we just got a new build that was created in about seven seconds, right? So this is completely integrated with incremental uh, integration, in in incremental deployment with Gatsby. So only the page that I create or change uh, gets rebuilt in, in the Gatsby Cloud. So you can see this new page is available. And uh, before I open that page on Gatsby and show you how the preview works, let's add some content to this page. So using the layout builder, I can add some components. Let's say I want to add a hero media block here. So let's just say Gatsby demo hero. Let's quickly select a background image. And let's give some more text here. Right, so you can see this is a custom block uh, built in Drupal, uh, which is being added via the layout builder. You can have, of course, different kind of fields on uh, your custom blocks. This one has a bunch of different configurations, like you can uh, add a CTA here, you can change the positioning of the text. I'm just gonna make it center align. It also lets you change the background color uh, of the hero. You can control the opacity. So typical site building features that you might expose to your content creators in a Drupal site. Uh, you can do that. And all of these work with Gatsby. So I've added one, let me add a couple of more. So I think adding a social media should be fairly quick. So I'm going to include a tweet here. Let me just grab that Twitter link. And 
and then we'll probably add one more component here and then I can show you how the uh, live preview works with Gatsby. So let's also add a map block. So you can see there's a variety of different components that uh, we have here uh, integrated with our Gatsby site. Okay, so I've made some changes using Drupal's layout builder. I'm gonna save this. And uh, as soon as I've done this, you'll see a new queue, uh, a build is happening on Gatsby. Again, it's gonna take a few seconds to build that page. So this is my Gatsby live site that is being built. Uh, also, if I go back, so you can see that build was completed in six seconds. Also, if I go back to the site, uh, we also have the Gatsby Cloud Live Preview enabled here as well. So you can see that also updated. And, and how this works is I'm going to show you the difference between the Gatsby Live Preview uh, versus the Gatsby site. So I go back to my Easy Content backend. And within the Layout Builder itself, we have a preview button. And if you click on the preview button, it shows the mobile version first. You can go full screen. And uh, we don't want to look at the Drupal right now. So since we have, we're talking about Gatsby today, I'm going to show you the Gatsby Cloud Live Preview. So you can see uh, this is the page that I just created, uh, and I'm able to see uh, an inline, in contextual preview of this page uh, within the Drupal interface. So this is actually a Gatsby page uh, in which we've placed a hero component. The text is center aligned. There's the red background. You have the social media, and then you have the Google Map. And just to confirm this is a Gatsby page, I'm going to copy the URL and open it in the new tab as well, just to show you. So you can see this is on uh, Gatsby Cloud. This is the preview link. And like I mentioned, uh, this is the live preview, and then you have the actual incremental site. And I'm going to show you the difference between these two. So I'm going to copy the URL. So this is my actually Gatsby front end site. This is what the visitors uh, will see. Right? This is where you configure your domain. And you can see uh, the URL that we provided is the custom one that we control. We are controlling from the Drupal backend. Uh, so to also show you how the live preview works, uh, you know, if your editors make some changes to the content, so the layout builder, as I mentioned, you can even add sections. So let's add a two column section here. So you can see I've added a two column section. I'm going to drag and drop some blocks here. So I'm going to drag the social media on the left. I will drag the map block on the right. Right. Again, uh, all these features are provided by layout builder out, out of the box. I hit save and edit. And now you will see uh, the difference between the live preview. So this is the live preview. I don't have to refresh this page, uh, so I can open it in uh, within Easy Content Backend uh, using the Layout Builder, or, or I can open it in a new tab. But you can you'll see that it just takes a couple of seconds, and then automatically it's showing the live preview. So I can do these changes in the draft mode before my node is published. And uh, once I'm satisfied, I can uh, push this and publish this content. So the live preview automatically refreshes as you make these changes. And you can see here, uh, we added a two column layout below the hero. And now we have a one column layout followed by two columns. And I was able to drag and drop and uh, place our custom blocks. And uh, if I go to my front end side, which is what the visitor see, since this is a published note, uh, these changes reflected automatically. I can refresh this. And you can see the change was also pushed to the uh, production site on Gatsby Cloud. So uh, this is how you know uh, it's possible. It works really well. Uh, you can try this out as well. Uh, easy content. I posted a link on the chat window, uh, which takes you to the Drupal.org page of the distribution. There is a Gatsby starter kit that is linked from that page as well. Uh, so we would love to uh, get your feedback if you have tried something similar or if you have if you're interested in integrating the layout builder with uh, Gatsby, uh, I'd love to uh, know that from you. And uh, we are there on our uh, region booth throughout the day. So if you have any questions, if you would like to discuss this, uh, would love to take that conversation uh, over to our booth. And uh, I know we're right on time. We'll just last one minute if anybody has a question that they want to squeeze in i would be happy to take that on right now and while you're doing that just quickly we are also running a easy content feedback uh, sweepstakes at our booth so please register for this as well uh, based on what you saw just now or on the youtube videos that i posted above uh, if you have any feedback on easy content you can just fill out a form and you can register for a, a I think uh, up to a five hundred dollar seat stake competition as well. So yeah, we are right on time. So thank you again, everybody who joined the lightning talk.
And again, if you would like to continue this conversation and share your experience integrating Drupal with Gatsby or uh, anything that you have in mind, uh, we'd love to take that on over in our booth. Thank you so much. Have a rest, a nice rest of DrupalCon. Bye-bye.